My preferred controller is the Wii U gamepad. We had like a union dispute. A union dispute. And Nate is here instead of T today. Yeah, we kicked T out. Uh, like I said, union dispute. It was honestly no longer a part of the band. We cut off his tenis and we kicked him out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, disfiguring men's sexual organs is funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Acceptable if it's my religion. Sorry, I was just laughing. I was trying to figure out how to get up here. <laughs> Acceptable if it's my religion. Was that like a circumcision joke? Uh, it was like a uh, female circumcision joke. Oh. Because at least male circumcision doesn't, like, disfigure the body, Well, really. I, I personally love male circumcision. Me too. I don't know I mean, about you. I... You know, like, my favorite thing... Did you know that there's, like, a brand of gum that they make their gum out of the leftover of... skin? No. Ooh. I want it. I thought you'd be into that. Yeah, what I do is sometimes I have them, like, take the skin, put it back on me, and then I have them cut it off again. Oh. With no pain meds. None. <laughs> Dr. Cockenstein. <laughs> yeah. I just want to... <laughs> I just want to be... Get the feeling. Get the thrill of being circumcised. How, again. how is this, like... Kitty is, like, wanting your attention. Hello, <laughs> Kitty. How is this architecturally sound or worth doing, where, like, you need to build a wall over another room? There wasn't a secret entrance or anything. It's not like these were hidden. It's just they were like, ah, just leave the files and the money in here and just build a wall over it. Well, is there any other entrance in this? What's that? Is that an elevator? Maybe. Like, can you get in here through... That looks like a freight elevator. Maybe you can, but Batman can't. Right. And if Batman can't, I don't believe it's really a thing. Well, and also, why'd they leave the uh, safe open? I don't know. You know what is cool, by the way, over here in this room? Oh, it has, like, a camera? No, something I wanted to show you is they do have a breakdown of every uh, assassin from oh. this game. What what room is this? I haven't played this in a while. This is... We are in the uh, Sionis Steel Mill. So why do they have a... Because Black Mask hired these people. Oh, okay. But it, then it was, like, technically Joker the whole Look time. Look at that. Ooh. That looks like the... Wait, that looks like that, um... Uh... Whatever that thing is. The Jack in the Box from the movie Krampus. That's what it is. That's what it looks like. That's what it is, exactly. That right there, that is a package <laughs> filled with Blu-ray copies of Krampus. Oh! And one DVD copy for an old person. Are they pirated? Uh, yes. Okay, then I want them. Yes, they are. The police are, like, busting down this room. Like, we gotta get rid of the pirated movies! Police in Gotham, when they see drugs. Police in Gotham, when they see pirated movies. Kill them! <laughs> <laughs> they, like, instantly turn into GTA Five police officer. I don't, I don't know, Captain. That guy was looking a little non-white. That's why I took my gun out. I don't know. They're like, oh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, are Gotham cops racist, or are they just so corrupt that they're above racism? And that makes you wonder, are they actually better cops than real-world cops that are corrupted by racism? Not all, but some. You know, the cops in real life who, like, they see a white guy zoom by at, like, 5,000 miles per hour, and they're like, ha ha! kids and then they see like a black guy go by and he like is barely scratching his head and they're like he's reaching for a weapon you know that kind of cop who's worse right. that guy or the corrupt cops in gotham who aren't racist but treat everyone that way i like your uh i like your your comparison there are the police in gotham so corrupt that they're above racism <laughs> yeah as if like as if to get above racism, you have to become so corrupt <laughs> so that you're, like, better than racism. <laughs> like, I'm above that. <laughs> well, you don't discriminate by race. You discriminate it by, I'm a cop, you're not. Right. That's it. Well, it's. I think it's very noble, personally. Yeah? Because I don't like racism. Racism. I don't like races. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like races. I, I just think that it would be good if there was like one race. I don't know. Just like, like you throwing that people, out there. Like uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh no. What if we like? I don't know. Hear me out. Like Made, I like. Camps. I'm, I'm having like a little book book burning party later. You know, <laughs> bring your favorite books written by people who disagree with what I think, and <laughs> I'll burn them. <laughs> And then what if, like, we get rid of everyone that's, I don't Different know, than you. Different than me. Because I'm normal. It's kind of kind of sad how close to home these jokes hit. To you? To your ideology? 
So I'm wondering how I open this. Um, looks like you have to go to a control center right there. Where is it? Um, Where if, is it? If though? you don't open this in five seconds, you are not Batman. Well, I'm not Batman. I'm just okay. being Batman. Oh, you're you're pretending. Yes. You're pretending to be nobler than what you are. Could it be through... Um, what if... Oh, oh, hit yeah. that thing. Hit that thing. Hit that button right there. Hit that. Nice. Excellent. Oh. What is with Kitty right now? Excellent. That was my Mr. Burns impression. Isn't it like such a letdown that they won't make more Simpsons games? Yeah. Well, that's all I have to say about it. Okay, thank you. Just, yes. I really appreciate your feedback. I hope uh, hope to see you again in the future. I'm actually better than uh, games journalists out there. You could stop right there and you'd be right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think it is kind of I, sad. I respect porn star as a profession far more than games journalist. I respect Ron Jeremy as a person more than games journalist. That says a lot, because he's uh, apparently a convicted uh-oh toucher. Allegedly. Allegedly. What, didn't he get convicted? Allegedly. Convicted. Did he, get, did he get allegedly convicted? He allegedly got convicted. You either get convicted or you don't. <laughs> I'm not I don't know, like, allegedly Jared Fogle got convicted. I don't know if he allegedly, really got convicted or not. We don't know the full don't know story. We don't know the whole truth. His truth might not be your truth. His truth is more important than your truth. I don't know, you know. It's Honestly, if, if, if Ron Jeremy is hot, which he is, what's the problem? Is that your vibrator going off right there? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Were you just thinking of, like, my Ron Jeremy... Uh, right point I made. Well, I was thinking, like, how do I dispute this? You can't. There we go, compound. The passwords in these are stupid. Like, no one makes their password as the word, like, compound. No, they make it like XX Pussy Temptation 32 XX 54. Stop sharing my password. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> like, XX Pussy Temptation. <laughs> That's the name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Is that like XX Temptations, like brother, like XX Pussy Temptation? I think it's his sister. <laughs> okay. So his sister is like tempted by pussy. Here's a question I have for you. I, I had a little question for you. Does it involve Canadian trivia? No. Well, then what, I will answer the question. What do you think about? Um, hey, you gotta be careful with that. Like once these videos get on Rumble. That's a Canadian website. We gotta be nice to them now. On Rumble. So anyway, I was uh, taking out my elk the other day, and I was having a question <laughs> for you here, Nate. I was going to ask you about something here. I was going to ask you about your boot, this and if I can like, shove your boot up your boot. Sounds like Scottish. <laughs> Hi there, laddie. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> hey, look at my Canadian accent. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, yo, what up? <laughs> no, I was going to ask you a little question. What do you think when you see, like, a guy like Pete Davidson? I know you don't like Pete Davidson. I don't know why you hate Pete Davidson, but you've never found him funny. You've never, I find, like... I find Pete Davidson funny. You do? You yes. used to hate him. I, I find him funny. Okay, well, anyways, when you see a guy like Pete Davidson dating all these hot chicks and smashing, mm -hmm. do you do you are you, like... Not jealous, but I, I'm, I'm being serious here. Are you like, wow, dude, good for you. That's awesome. No, I'm more like confused. Okay, okay. Well, what if what if he was hot? I'm saying like, what if there was a guy who you thought, like like Brad Pitt. What if Brad Pitt hooked up with 5,000 women? Would you be like, oh, wow, you know? I mean, it would make sense. Okay, so, but do you think, do you judge him for that? No. Then why do you judge Taylor Swift, Nate? Oh, for how many people oh. she dated? Why do you judge her? I don't like the trap you put me in here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure out it's how to It's actually because Taylor Swift is a woman. Okay so, okay, so she's held to a higher standard than men. That's the reason. So you think women... You hold women to a higher standard not because you're a misogynist, but because you know they're capable of more. I know they are better than men. So they should act better. All right. I don't like the trap you put me in. <laughs> How 
do I get in here? I don't know. Like, what am I supposed to do? Hack it with the remote bat? What? <laughs> Why are you calling like Mach One? I don't know. I pulled the thing to slow down. Like, but it. <laughs> what was it like? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I feel like I just stumbled into the wrong classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't he open this? I don't know. Is your cryptographic sequencer, like, upgraded? Because uh, maybe you have to upgrade the range on it. I thought it was. Uh, go into your upgrades. That's close combat upgrade. That's invisible predator. Okay, what are you doing here? I'm a uh, really good player. <laughs> what is that one? New. No, that's not it. Look, cryptographic power Improve the power of... So I already got it. No, that just makes it easier to do. That doesn't... That one would be the range. I already got it. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, I don't know, then. I feel like should be able to do it. So, well, most of the time when I do these, like, Riddler trophies, it I feel like a moron every time I figure it out. Because it's always like, how did I not figure this out? Well, maybe we can get the other two here, and then that will help us figure out how to get that last one. How would that help it? I don't know. Okay. I'm saying, like, maybe somehow playing around in the world, we'll playing with ourselves in the world, we'll find something. Can we just play with ourselves in general? Why do you think I asked you here? Okay. And not to you. Yeah. All right. Oh! oh an abortion hey, file. let's go Brandon. <laughs> let's go Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Abortion file for Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, there is another. Well, there's another. There should be another one. Wait, is it that? Should be another one. What's your thoughts on DJ Khaled? I, d I don't care either way. I mean, he seems like a nice guy. Do you like his son? Uh, I am happy that he loves his son so much, but I find it a little cringe. Do you find his son hot? I don't really like where this is going. Okay. I don't really like where this is going at all. I should say in a... Platonic way. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Okay, okay. Do you find anyone hot in a platonic way? Yes, I do, actually. Ooh. I find someone hot in a platonic way. Ooh. What does platonic way mean? Like, you're not interested in them romantically. Oh, yeah, yeah. I find a lot of people hot that way. How do I get in there? Like, me? No. I find you hot in a non-platonic way. <laughs> Over there. Kitty's like, what about me? I don't find the kitty hot at all. The heck? What do you mean? How? I find kitty sexy. Okay, well... Can you... <laughs> Can you get over there somehow? I don't know. I feel like an absolute moron today. I'm having a hard time. Well, what if you just were better? I could hashtag be better. You haven't played the Miles Morales game in a while. That's probably why you're not better. Sometimes when I feel bad about myself, and I don't mean like when I know I did something wrong, like oppressive, or I feel bad about something someone did in history. I mean like when I just feel bad, like I think about Christopher Columbus, and mm -hmm. I look at his skin, I look at mine, and I feel bad. Mm -hmm. What I do is I put on the black and gold suit in Miles Morales, and I know that I've made a difference. Right. Me too. Kitty is, like, having an aneurysm. Do you want to let her out? Sure. <laughs> I guess she wants to get out of the room. I'm having a hard time here figuring out how to get these ones. The outdoor ones are so much easier. Yep. Well, there's some way... It's kind of odd that you brought up Christopher Columbus, because whenever I see him, I feel good about myself. Oh, all right. <laughs> I feel like, hey, we made a difference in the world. We did stuff. I, it might not be good stuff, but I, we did stuff. I guess, fair enough. That makes <laughs> sense to me. <laughs> I don't exactly feel guilty about any history, though. Unless it's something I did. Or, like, maybe my dad or mom. Like, right. if, if it's one generation back, mm -hmm. and it was like, hey, your mom and dad, uh, you know, gang beat me. I don't know. Right. Okay, well, like, I didn't I didn't do that, but, like, I'm sorry that happened. That sucks. Like, right. I knew my parents personally, uh, never thought they'd be capable of that. that that's horrible. You know, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But I don't really get these people who go around, like, feeling bad about history. Like, oh, oh. You know, like, no no one goes like, oh, man, remember when Rome killed those people? Like, 
uh, you know, 2,000 years ago, no one cares. So when they do that with something else, it's like, what's the difference here? Like, why do we care selectively about this? Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I think it's kind of silly because... Uh, I guess my thing is, why do you feel bad for other people? Like, I'm just, I'm just saying in general. Like ever? Well, like, I'm talking in terms of. I am hey, an there idiot. I'm talking in terms of like, I mean, I, I don't mean like in terms of like someone got into a car accident, so we feel bad for them. No, I I'm don't. talking. I, I laugh, but I'm talking in, ter- <laughs> I'm talking in terms of like, in terms of like, oh, this person a hundred years ago was racist. Does that person have any impact on me? At all. No. So, and like, why do I care outside of just... That's douchey? Well, I, yeah, I mean, outside of just the simple fact of, like, that person was racist. There we go. Right. Like, why Why should we apply that person's life to my life, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that's kind of what bothers me, where it's like, these people go around like, well, you need to apologize. And it's like, for what? Right. Like, why Why do I have to apologize for someone else? Do you have any idea how to get in here? I have zero idea how to get in there. Can you look it up? No. Please? What does it say? Touch your... Oh, okay. Touch your toes and cock. Touch your cock? Oh, toes. Okay. Look at this. What the heck? There is a random broken pipe. How didn't you know this? <laughs> I don't know. How didn't I know? What's the what's the password? This better be like Puzzlement. This better be like a really Puzzle Kate? Puzzlexity? Puzzlexity is like uh like dyslexia kinda. Oh okay. But for like puzzles? Purplement. You like do puzzles backwards, is that what it is? Yeah. Did you know that that's actually a mis uh understanding or a miss um what would you call it like you don't actually see words backwards it's uh different than that it's just somehow your brain doesn't recognize them oh i mean who are you to tell me i have dyslexia do you actually no oh that's his uh, stolen valor i like stealing valor if someone else says an accomplishment i like leap in and take care of it i'm like teddy roosevelt at the battle of san juan hill nice don't get that reference but cool oh, okay do you want me to tell you the reference? No. Okay. No, I do. So I, I in, don't. Okay. No, please do. In the Spanish-American War. I don't War, care. Okay. Actually, I want to know. Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders were... It's a funny name, but that, <laughs> well. that's what they were called. Hey! <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders were... <laughs> I'm glad, like, Colonel Custer didn't run the Rough Riders. I know. <laughs> There's these two hills in Cuba. Are you sure they weren't boobs? They were boobs, actually. And him and, like, two other American generals were charged with, or ordered to, to take these hills, right? Okay. So Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders, like, sped off, and they, like, just rushed this one boob, I mean, hill, and they just completely annihilated it. Right? Are they, like, riding Harley Davidson's they in are, this type of thing? No, they're riding Harley Quinn's, actually. Oh, my. Um, but then the other two generals went to San Juan Hill, mm-hmm. and this is, like, Teddy Roosevelt's most, most famous victory. And Teddy Roosevelt literally, from this other hill, looked over and saw them, like, marching up the hill and, like, pushing the Spanish back. And he and his Rough Riders, like, hopped on their horses and raced over to this other hill and literally cut off the other two generals and made it up to the top of the hill first. And he declared victory. (laughs) And this is literally his, like, most famous victory in his life was the Battle of San Juan Hill. And he didn't even really do anything. Wait, wait, so they showed up later and then beat them to the top. Yeah, he took this other hill first and then cut them off and declared that he took San Juan (laughs) Did they say anything about that? Yeah, they were kind of like, what the heck? But, like, it didn't matter because history only remembers him as taking San Juan Hill. Huh. So. So would you say he's a bad person? I would say he's racist. Didn't he steal the accomplishment from other white people? 
Yes. Got it. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't think I get it. <laughs> I don't get it either, but I just like to throw yeah, around buzzwords. Me too. <laughs> that was, um, polegic or whatever. What? <laughs> it's a new buzzword I came up with. Polegic? <laughs> yeah. Is that like people who are racist towards paraplegics? No, that's ableist. Oh, okay. Then what's polegic? It's just people who are, uh, polegic in some way. Oh, okay. So then what's the difference between them and paraplegics? Well, they're paralyzed in two two places, like their both their arms or their legs. Or... So paralegic people are just paralyzed and you just murder that informant? He'll be fine. Okay. So paralegic people are just paralyzed in one location. Right, but like, it's just kind of lame that they, they have yeah, to... It is lame. They have to let other people live with being, uh, you know, paralegic in multiple places. But they won't be willing to do it themselves. Oh, so you're blaming polegic people. <laughs> yes. So you think they should, out of the grace of their heart... Like, pick a side! Like, they, they should further injure themselves to make paraplegic people feel better. I'm just saying choose a side. Either you're there or you're not. Stop being half in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the Church of Laodicea in the Bible. No one. <laughs> me. You stupid centrist. <laughs> Don't kill me. Smart. Well, you're going to make this guy a polegic. Pretty much. All right. I'm actually upset because that means that there's more data packs now than I knew about. <laughs> when interrogating people actually backfires. I think I took out like all of them on this side. I'll have to look through the buildings. I feel like I made a mistake agreeing to do these. Why did you agree to do these? I don't know. Do you see... What I see? That was a nice Christmas joke. See, we're playing a Christmas game. We actually are. Is this your favorite Christmas game? Have you ever played another Christmas game? <laughs> That'd be the real question, I guess. I don't think I have, actually. I don't really play Christmas games. I what? find Christmas offensive. Oh, you hate Christ, got it. I hate, I hate Christ. Got I it. actually say Xmas. Okay. Just out of pure pettiness. Remember when Starbucks did that? Yeah. I was very happy. Well, I had I held a little peaceful protest and I burned down a Starbucks and they changed their ways. Oh, nice. That sounds very What is this? Oh, it's just telling me that I did something. Doesn't matter very descriptive. <laughs> well, just, what is this? Well, it's just telling me I did something. Well, it's just telling me that I got Enigma data packs. Like, no one oh, cares. Okay. Um, it didn't, like, tell you the location of Enigma himself? Uh, no. Uh, Feeling really good about that burp. I, I really hope you do. <laughs> What, are you bored Cause already? Because that, that bothered me. Are you bored already? No, I'm fine. You're bored. I'm okay. You're bored. I'm okay, I'm fine. You're going to be really upset it's when nothing. we do this on Friday. It's nothing. I'm fine. All day. And don't go see No Way Home. No, I want to see No Way Home. Nope, sorry. I already bought the tickets. There's no way home? that you'll get to see No Way Home. What if, what if we go see the movie on Friday and I don't drive you home, so then you have No Way Home? Oh, I'm a method actor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Okay. What is this? Me making a mistake. Okay. Why do these people have guns? We have laws against assault rifles. Ah, uh, well, they went and picked them up at a school. Oh, okay, where they're very prevalent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I... This meme I saw earlier, it was like, it's really bad, but I was laughing really hard. It was... It showed Josh from Drake and Josh, and he's like smiling, and it's like <laughs> when they're bullying you, but they don't know you have a Glock in your lunchbox. Oh no! It's like horrible. Oh no! <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, it's sad, but it's good. <coughs> Hey, that was pretty epic there. Thank you. I'm I'm like uh, master of this game. You know what's funny, by the way? This is on the city engine, obviously. What? Do you like my like close up? Yeah, like his lips. This is on the city engine. Okay. And you can't punch these open in this game, but you could in City. So why do they take out the feature? I don't know. 
I, I really don't know. They like actively removed the feature. They also every time you get one of these and you hit the button to go find another one, it's like, hey, well, let's show you the same thing. <laughs> hey, you're still at seventy nine percent. Want to see it? Would you buy this game if they remastered it on modern consoles? Yeah, absolutely. If, it, if it was physical, yes. If it was, if it was digital, if you it was wouldn't. A digital, I probably would not. Wow. But a physical version, yeah. You wouldn't. You just wouldn't buy it if it was digital at all. Why would I buy it? I don't know because it would be a remastered, I suppose. But I've already played it. So you play something once and you're done with it forever? Yeah, it's an old game at this point. Might as well sell your stuff <laughs> off and join Sony. <laughs> all you have to do now is, uh, all you have to do is show that you want to meet up with someone underage, like that one oh, no. uh, executive was uh, um, accused of, and you hate old games, and I think you can get in. <laughs> he just wanted his cupcake. That was not the executive. But okay. <laughs> oh, you're saying EDP was not an executive at Sony? <laughs> no. Clever Essence? I feel like Clever Essence is like <laughs> Evanescence. Like it's, it's like the dumb version of it. It's like, two plus two is four, but what's twelve times three? You have to, like, solve their puzzles. Clever. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, I thought it was very... I thought it was a Clever Essence joke. Thank you. <laughs> That was also a uh, 10 out of 10 singing. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. What if, would you buy this game again if they made a D remastered version? D's nuts? Where they actually made the graphics worse than this. Oh, D mastered. Yeah. Yes, I would. Okay. I mean, I don't even need this remastered. I can just play it on PC and, like, double the frame rate and everything. But I, I still think it's lame that they just forgot about this game. Well, game bad. They literally just forgot about it. They were like, oh yeah, WB Games Montreal made that. Do you think it's because WB Games Montreal made it? Yes. Every other game that Rocksteady made has been re-released. Yep. Like Rocksteady themselves. This game that WB Games Montreal made? No. Hasn't been. Neither has Origins Blackgate, but no one cares about that. Mm -hmm. My main problem with like companies doing that is why, why license your game out in the first place? To a different company if you don't want to share the profits. Oh, it's the same thing with, like, Fallout New Vegas. They literally just, um... Also, I'm just going for these. I'm just knocking out as many as I can. Um, they literally made the game, Obsidian. Yeah. And Bethesda was, by the way, douchey to them about it. Have you heard about this? That they told them, like, hey, if this doesn't get a certain Metacritic score, we're, you're not getting a bonus. Yeah. And then it didn't. And the reason that it didn't wasn't Obsidian's fault. It was because they rushed them to make the game and did not give them enough time. Yeah. Of course it's going to have problems. Like, what are we doing here? I want the game to be perfect. Well, yeah, I do too, but like, then give them the time to make it perfect. This is the dumbest thing in game development today, is everything's like, get it out now, we'll fix it later! Mm -hmm. And it's like, why? Like, nobody wants your product now if it's bad. No, Nobody wants that. I get that people will accept it, and they'll buy it, but like, they would much sooner wait and just get it fixed. Yeah, there's so many examples of this, like, the biggest one I can think of in most recent times is uh, the cyberpunk game. Yeah. Where it's like people were so excited for this and then it came out and it just failed. It failed to the point where they literally were giving people refunds yep. on the game. And it's like if you would have just taken half a year more, fix the game, you wouldn't have to give people refunds. Because yeah. it would probably work fine. And people would like the game. Yep. And as is now, they're still fixing the game, and there's going to be tons of people who never go back to it. Yep. And like me, I probably won't ever even try, like, start it, because, one, I have so many other games to play, too, it's like, the game doesn't even work, so why bother? Yeah, I mean, if they ever fix it eventually to the point where it's, like, really good, like, um, like Fallout, because I have heard from people that it has the bones to be that, like a really good RPG. It has the boner, yeah. Yeah, it has, it's getting boned right now. Okay. I no, like if they ever do that, where it's like, hey, look, this is, um, you know, this is as good as those other RPGs, I would play it. Yeah. But um, so far, that's still not the case. They're still ironing out issues. And so to me, it's kind of like, well, 
I have, what, you know, a thousand games that I can play that have no issues, basically, or are old, and then there's new games coming out all the time launching better than that. Right. Right. It's so like, why we, play that? Or, <clears throat> wait, oh, they said Enigma's dead. Um, or, if you think about it, like, things like the games we buy at half price books, it's like, I could I could also just buy your game for less than half price used. Yep. And I'm getting the same or better of a product as mm-hmm. everyone else for $70. And I get that it's like, well, that doesn't support the games industry. And it's like, yeah, why should I if they're not going to, like, support me? If they're not going to give me a full product for my money, why should I give them money? Like, there's just no reason to. Right. I, I don't get it. It's like, you need to support gaming. It's like, I will. If you make good games, of mm-hmm. course I will. Yeah, if the games work. <clears throat> That is a uh, oversight weird. right there. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of weird because, for me, if I was running a company, but I, you know, I would. For me, if I was running a gaming company, the games would be like the reason why you're in the company, right? Right, because you want to so, make good games. Well, yeah, and not just that, but like games make you money because that's the industry you're in. So for me, the last thing in the universe I would ever want to do is make bad games, right? Because then people don't buy your game. Or, either that, or you just get, like, memed on hardcore. And if you ever make a game in the future, people aren't going to want to, like, buy the game because your last game was horrible. Right. So it's like, why? what is with this incentive to be to people to be like, you know, let's just, like, pump this game out. And it's like, well, then the game doesn't work right, and now the next game people aren't going to buy. Like, if they made, like, let's say in, like, two years from now, let's say they made, like, a cyberpunk, like, sequel, right? They made, like, a cyberpunk 2069 or something like that. I just picked a random number. That makes sense. And how many how many people do you think would buy that game knowing that they got extremely disappointed with cyberpunk 2077? Probably less than half. Yeah. And it's like, and, it, and the reason for that is not because people hate cyberpunk. It might not even be because that game is bad. That game might be good. Yeah. But you've just turned off your, your audience. It's because like Because your last one was bad. <clears throat> well, it's like what we were talking about with Star Fox. Like, it's not fair. Mm-hmm. If, the, if the new game is good, that's not fair. Right. But people don't trust you. And people don't trust games journalists at all. They're literally... Like... The problem is that, like, they get everything for free. Right. Everything. Now, I understand if you want to be, like, if you want to go down this rabbit hole and be like, well, you know, Jay, if someone gave you a game for free, you know, you'd you'd review it well, too. And it's like, yes, but uh, I understand that reasoning. Mm -hmm. But I would still try and be objective. And also, I would hope that there was enough of a history of me reviewing previous games that you trust what I'm saying. Right. I feel like the thing with games journalism is all those companies have always just been given stuff. And so the understanding from people is like, well, if you're just given something, you're not going to be as hard on it. Plus, you have no monetary investment in it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. So people don't trust the the people making games or the people reporting on them. So, long story short, they should give me the uh, ability to run all the gaming companies get and, a hot secretary and a hot secretary and make me in charge of all games journalists change the laws so you can be with the hot secretary why does the laws have to be changed well because there's like all these like stupid like abuse of power laws and stuff where it's like oh you know oh, you, those are, those are you used your power again or whatever you know yeah i mean jill is works for you basically i know right and you, I'm banging my secretary. And you abuse those laws. <laughs> exactly. <so. laughs> exactly. 